Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Um, it's Alex from Garage Golf TV. Thank you for joining us. Um, if you have subscribed, thank you very much. Haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. The more subscribers we get, the more videos we can make. Um, today we have got the Mevo Plus in the garage. Um, short indoor setup. We are actually slightly changed my measurements now. So we've got the Mevo Plus at just under nine feet from uh, from the ball. And then we're just under nine feet to the screen as well. So that seems to be working good for me. Um, I think if, you know, if you've got the space, then, then use it. Um, today, we are going to play the front nine of Wade. Uh, what is it called? We're going to play the front nine of Wade Hampton Golf Course um, on the E6. It's one of the five free courses you get with it. So let's give it a go. Okay, Wade Hampton Golf Course. First hole, par five. Five, two, nine. Don't forget, select. Club, so look for hybrids. Okay, sorry, the card was full. You might not have seen that, uh, but we hit it. We're just off the fairway. Two eight nine to go. Second shot. Pulled it a bit left. It's okay. Find the fairway, yeah. Uh, 87 yards. No, I know. Somewhere, Jake. Took a while to calculate that. I don't know if you've seen it. It was in the air for ages. Okay, putting. We won't use a dot for putting. Use another ball and bring it back a touch. 21 feet. Could be in. Go, go, go. Not too bad. Again, we've got 10 foot gimmies on, just because putting isn't really, you know, I haven't got the simulator for putting personally, but, um, okay, so start off with a par, which is good. Again, lovely course, I think the graphics are pretty good on the iPad, you can't really complain with that. 414, let's change that. But I have seen someone put up a couple of, um, a comparison between E6 on the iPad and E6 um, off, a, off a laptop or PC and it is, the graphics do get quite a bit better. But again, for me in here, iPad is perfect. Right, see if we can get with that a bit up. Oh, shanky low and left. Exactly what I hit and it picked it up. Awful swing. <clears throat> Two, four, eight. What we'll do? Let's go with the. No, we'll let's pick the hybrid. We'll go hybrid again. We haven't hit that very well. Go back to stand up. Uh, I'm still running the the older version of well no let's say the older version but the a new firmware has just been released the other day so I haven't I haven't installed that yet um, but we will do right see if we can get a good swing away that was better. Okay, we'll take that after a poor tee shot. Full 
21 yards. Let's see, we'll get the survey giant. I've got the dot on today, just because of what they recommend. Right, 41 yards. Oh dear. You just shake there. Not concentrating. Yeah, I'm putting. I'm at the edge of my hitting strip. Oh, well, I'm off the off my hitting mat. Just put it straight off the turf. Sixty-three foot. Yeah. I think that's going to make it. Stop. Oh, too hard. It didn't feel. It didn't feel like I hit that too hard, but I suppose I did give it a whack. Oh, that's cool. All right, thirteen foot. Should be pretty good. Yeah, there you go. See, that's interesting. So that that felt like I putted that really well. So it it, it picked it up. You know, I know people have been having issues with their putting, but so far so good here. Eh? Oh, look at this. Par 3, 198 yards. is downhill. Um, we'll try, try 6, I think. It's a long one. Hit that well. Hit that lovely. Come, come back. Go. Yeah, it's going to be a big set, isn't it? One with the five, I think. But there we go. River chef sandwich. Got fifty-five foot. Again, the metallic dot facing the screen. Way too hard. Again, putting, I'm switching. I'm bringing the ball back to try and be about seven foot. Um, it's probably just over that, to be honest. And then I'm switching the ball as well. You can't see that, but the ball with like the, the dot on. So I've been told it's best not to use a dot for putting. 28 foot. Take that. That is a bogey, but it wasn't the best chip, so. But again, lovely course, really enjoying these courses. I'm not getting bored of them. I could play them over and over again. I guess just like my home course I play at, played it hundreds of times, never get bored. Just remember to um, set your club selection. Some readings. Another part five. They're long as well. <laughs> yeah, hit that well. Come on, ball, go. Hit that lovely. Yeah, it's about right. If you catch it, you can go to twenty. <clears throat> Again, the metallic dot facing forward. We've got three, two, five. Favourite club again. 
He just selected it for me. It knew what I wanted to do. Back a bit. So straight down the middle should do it. Another good strike. This one here, that should set me up nicely. See, I think I've got the screen about right. Don't get too much bounce back. See, off the, the loftier clubs, it springs back a bit more at you. Right, 107, perfect. Jack wedge. After we just been on the range earlier, warming up, we were hitting this. Exactly that, so. On the green, this one. Oh, came out right. There you go. It's got, got a bit of bounce back then. But and to be fair, that's exactly where I hit it. So accuracy today of the Mevo is bang on, to be fair. Right. Sand wedge. 29 feet. A little lobby one. <sighs> one thing I'm starting to get the hang with is the chipping. I struggled with it when I first got the unit, but um, and the sky track. To be fair, it wasn't more me, I think, than anything else. Again, okay, so putting slightly further back towards the Mevo, eleven foot, just to the screen. Well, yeah, it should be just past the screen. So that was about right. Turn off 15 to take that. Going along nicely now. Okay. Par 4, 3, 8, 6. Let me know if, you, if you've got a Mevo on order or a different CG2 or GC2, is it? Um, Skytrack. I think they're catching up with the orders now on the Mevo, so hopefully, if you are waiting for them, it won't be too much longer. 386, come on then, four hybrids. Oh. Was an awful swing, but it just goes to show, picks it up. Got 260 in now. Right, we need a good recovery. Dodgy swings today. That's better. Okay. Perhaps I need to check where I was aiming. <laughs> it might have been aiming just to chip me out. Now we're in the deep bushes. What have you got? 56. Just trying. <laughs> that tree. I don't know if this is going to hit a tree. Straight through them. If you say what, they're ninety percent air. But I'm pretty sure if that was on the uh, out on the course, <laughs> it, it would have hit a trip. The joys of simulator golf. Thirty-five foot. Ooh, was it that quite hard? Interesting as well, the mirror is just disconnected. So if any of you guys do get that, just to let you know, I turned off the device. I turned the device back on, re restarted it. I then, I left E6 open, 
but I opened up the FS Golf app, made sure it connected, which it did. I then closed down properly by swiping up on my iPad the F6 uh, Golf app, closed that down properly, go back into my ECX, and it's, it's back where I left off. Ah, there you go, it's just, come on. With all that, I'm not hit that part very well. It is working again now. So. Ah, it does put you off a little bit. Spring six for that. Do the same again. Okay. Okay, nice poor part there, brilliant. But there you go, you did see the Demivo went a bit wonky. Okay, what have we got? What hole are we on? Sit. Okay, par three. Oh, look at this. Beautiful hole. 134 yards. Downhill. Probably a pitching wedge. I would say. It's got nine iron on there, but I think we'll do. Pitching wedge. Metallic dot. Nice and fast. This is a cracking hole. Did it well. Come on, be good. Oh, get down there. The spin. Cream that wedge. Yeah, we'll swap the ball. Get that one out of the way. 39 foot. Bit downhill. Oh, it's racing. Sit down, ball. Sit down. Yeah, nearly put it off. See, well downhill there. Okay, give me par. We're back on track. Lovely tea pad. 350, the Wade Hampton 7 hole. Good strike, little draw on that one. Perfect. It's actually raining heavily today in the UK, so this is where the golf simulator comes into its own in my eyes. This is where I'll use it, you know, during the winter. Um, right, 160. Can play golf and not get wet. Right, 160 AI. Plenty of club, I think. Didn't actually hit it very well. But so, got one four seven. Fifty foot. So with these, a bit on feel, late as you see it, I think. Wow. I just uh, misread that a little bit because I did not hit it that high or that far. That was a pause, eh? 
30 foot downhill. Scared to hit it. That's got a chance to go in. Ah, oh, just short. <clears throat> that felt good when I cut that. Okay, I think it's hole eight. <clears throat> Sorry, hole nine. No, it is hole eight. Par four, three, six, one. A lovely hole. What? Really enjoying this course as well. Another elevated tee. Oh, hit that nice. Hybrid's working again today. Yeah, I'm very consistent that just over the 120 mark, uh, 220 mark. As always, the flight script gives you the bit of analysis after. Right, one by two. We're going to go. What should we go? We'll go with a nine, I think. I think it's too much club. Yeah. Not good at that, it's not. Got to commit, haven't you? I do that when I'm playing, right? On the real course. You think you haven't got the right club and then you don't commit. That was a horrendous. It's all going wrong on the night. That was such a bad shot. Oh, look at that. Okay, he redeemed himself a little bit. We've had four, so we need to get this in. Come on, last one of the day. Again, we'll swap the ball. I'll tell you what, for the last, shall I see if I can show you the putting? How we've got the putting set. There you go. So I move the ball back, as you can see there. Slightly, makes the stance a little bit. I usually hit from here, but for putting, I go back towards here. Flat all the way, 11 foot, so just get it to the screen and beyond, and it could be a... Nailed it. Oh, you're joking. And there you go. Um, but that's how I do putting. It seems to work okay. Okay, guys, that is it. That's nine holes on the Wade Hampton golf course in the garage uh, with, the, with the Mevo Plus on E6 on the iPad. Um, again, another cracking course. I uh, really enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing below. Anything you want to see, comment down below and uh, we'll, we'll do it in the next few videos. Um, thanks as always. I'll see you soon.